So here it is, Merry Vlogmas. Everybody's having fun, fun. Look to the future now, it's only just begun. Happy Vlogmas! Do you like me at? This is ridiculous, isn't it? See? Can you see? My tree is up. I'm giving you a sneak peek. <laughs> sneak peek? Um, what's that film from? Sneak a peek is from Percy Jackson. And the lightning bolt. Lightning thief. Lightning thief. That's it. Anyway, I digress. How are you? Haven't caught up with you in quite a while. <laughs> I didn't vlog one week and then it was the um, York weekend, wasn't it? So have you seen that vlog? What did you think? Did you like it? Hope you did. I had a nightmare editing it because my Filmora editing software has gone to pot. I am going to have to spend probably another two hours today trying to figure it out. So please, please bear with me over these Vlogmas uh, videos because if there's one I can't get up, I will be telling you on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so make sure you go and follow me on there so you'll know what's going on because I'm trying my best. But honestly, it took me... It, well, while I was editing the York vlog, it crashed seven times. It has this little spinning circle and then it goes <laughs> and all goes. And you have to reinstate it all again. So it was very, very frustrating. And then I couldn't get it to export. Anyway, it's done now. But what I'm saying is we may have a problem during Vlogmas. I'm just going to try my best. I probably will change my editing package if it carries on because it's getting ridiculous. Um, right. First of all, before we start anything... I'm going to insert the footage from Monday when we decorated the bungalow for Christmas because um, I thought you'd want to see it, the shelf of dreams, the tree, everything and then when you finish watching that I'm going to do you a guided tour and get on with the day, okay? So go check that out. It's Christmas decorating time, got my Christmas hat on. <laughs> I am inserting this into Vlogmas. It is Monday, the something of November. It's the last Monday of November. So we always decorate for Christmas, usually the last weekend before December. But we were away in York. So um, I hope you enjoyed that, that vlog. If you haven't seen the York vlog, go and check it out. Right, let me show you. So... I've got the Grinch on, <laughs> the Grinch is on, and let me mute it a minute, I'll just pause it for a minute because it's very loud. So I've put the garland on that my dad chose, let me step back a bit, and my Colin the Gonk is next to it. This is where the big Christmas tree goes, but this is my craft cupboard, so I literally have to empty my craft cupboard boxes into the shed because I obviously need them over Christmas for craft so I've got to do that today as well <laughs> I'm literally working on zero energy because like we've had the whole weekend in York I've slept funny so my neck's got <laughs> all stiff and painful in my back as well never mind it's Christmas now, my main purpose today is to do the Shelf of Dreams, the OG Shelf of Dreams. So all these have got to come off, that will probably stay, I'm not sure yet. And we will convert this to the Shelf of Dreams. This is all the boxes of stuff, so I need to empty all this. Oh, this is the snowflake lights that go in both front windows, and I'm not doing that today. That'll be job for another day because, I, like I say, I've not got much energy today. So I'm literally going to get done what I can get done. And that, these are for the tree in our bedroom. So put them down there because they're not needed. This is what I use, this white sheet blanket, 
for the shelf of dreams to go on so that has to go first these were the lights that i had last year and they were blue don't know why i got blue lights but i did so this year i went and purchased a pack of 200 multi-function warm white string lights so i am using white instead and then i'm just literally gonna go look at him i'm gonna get each thing out that's not for the shelf of dreams but that can go somewhere um this is just so gorgeous isn't it look how gorgeous is that it's beautiful beautiful um this is a snowman that i painted many many years ago oh here it tells you 2006 I painted him so he comes out every year um, what else we got oh and I painted this one as well this is another one I painted this was in 2014 and it's actually a decoration hang on your tree but I don't want to hang it on the tree I put it next to him on the shelf of dreams um, there's many many little things so I'm going to unpack all these and then have a look look at him look i think i got him last year i absolutely adore him i love his pine cone hat and his little birdie in the nest much stuff <laughs> right this has made me sad look what I just found Christmas is better with the West Highland Terrier this is gonna go in my scrapbook because this came out every year which one's my scrapbook in I think it's that one um, anyway let's not dwell on what's not to be I'm going to show you all this stuff. Look at it, look at it. So, we've got signs, we've got more signs. I love this one. Um, we've got cute little ornaments. There's the other little guy that went with the other one. He's got a holly leaf hat. Um, we painted these last year, so I'm not sure if we're gonna put them out. Um, I have to decide on that one. We've got gonks got reindeers by the way tip don't put your candles in the loft because the heat rises and it can melt right I'm back yeah don't put your candles in the loft but this one has survived and this is gonk magic I think I got this from um, home bargains last year and it's still got quite a lot left so that's good look at me Rizzo the rat and then over here we've got gonks Galore. I made these one year. Um, we've got a little snowman, we've got a robin, little mouse, a little fairy. And I bought these from, oh, where were they? BM. So now I need to take all this down, wrap it up, and put it away, which is a good tip. If you're going to get decorations out, take down what you've got already because it's too cluttered with it. Imagine if I'd left that up and then I put all of this on top of it, it'll just look a nightmare. Right, okay, the lights and the snow blanket are on. Um, I've just got them on twinkle for now and now it's to work out where to put all the things I usually put one sign each end and then stuff in the middle I might put another sign in the middle as well actually or I might put that big tree I will show you progress later right oh actually I'm gonna put 
Before I show you the shelf of dreams, I've had to take the hat off, it was too hot. I'm just gonna put those lights on as well, so it's all. Let's turn this light off. I'm actually really happy with it. I'm glad that I changed the blue lights for warm white because I think it looks a lot nicer. Um, oh, I love the shelf of dreams. And there's room for more stuff, to be fair. So next year, I can get even more stuff for the shelf of dreams. I thought I had a lot of stuff, but some of it I didn't use because actually I might charity shop that. I don't think I'm gonna use that, so. Let me show you. I don't want to keep you in suspenders anymore. Da, 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 da. Right, oh, why am I showing you the tree? The tree's always lit up. We have the festive twinkle picture. Here is the shelf of dreams. Look at it in all its glory. So we've got Rizzo the rat, we've got a little grey fluffy reindeer, a snowman, a sign, oh it's just, it's just heavenly, it's just heavenly and what I'll do is I'll show it to you in when it's all dark outside as well so you can get the full appreciation of it and then down here we have my conks. Who remembers me making this sleigh? Can you remember me making this? That I uh, bought for two pounds from the works and did up. So the gonks are having a ride in the sleigh, which I think is hilarious. I used one of the star mats here with a gonk and two cat Christmas candles that I will just swap as and when they burn out. But that is just festive gloriousness. And then you've got that up there. What do you think? Let me stand back here. I can't do anything about that wire coming down there. <laughs> There's nothing I could do about that. You just have to ignore that. But what do you think of my festive corner? The shelf of dreams and everything else. And this, I'd already done put this there. Um, that last year went in the um, toilet room. Actually, I'm just thinking of that. I haven't got anything to go in there now because I used it there. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. I just think it's gonna look so lovely at night as well. So it's all gonna be lit up and beautiful. Okay, I think, look at that snow scene. I have fluffed it all out um, as much as I can. Look at the carpet, <laughs> look at it, it's absolutely covered. So I need to hoover and hoover myself. September. Alexa, stop. Sorry if that affected your legs. <laughs> um, Poppy's coming in a minute just to say hello. So yes. This is as far as I've got. And then later on tonight, Holly's getting back about seven. She's gone to the gym with Louie. Um, and then she's gonna come back and help me decorate it all. So that will be later tonight. But for now, I need to hoover this and myself and have a rest because I am done. I'm done for today. Do you wanna see the shelf of dreams in the dark? Do you want to? I'm gonna do you a full um, Christmas bungalow tour um, when it's all done during vlogmas probably in this episode um, so stay tuned for that but I'll show you this while it's all dark outside so here we go here's the shelf of dreams in the dark and I just think it looks amazing oh camera's having a hard job focusing and then out here we have uh, faithful old Santa light and starlight that that Santa light is about 20 years old 
and it's like really like um what's the word the plastic's breaking and but it it's you know it's iconic it has to go up every year let's do this guided tour I won't take too long because you'll have seen some of it on you know oh I suppose I better put all the lights on as well and I for you <laughs> let me go around and put all the lights on <laughs> come on Nick be, be a professional YouTuber <laughs> right so who remembers the garland that my dad chose from the range this is thus <laughs> this is thus so this was I believe 20 around 22 pounds from the range look at me look at me socks in the, in the fireplace. Um, I absolutely love it it's battery powered lights and I think it fits on there a treat this is Colin the Gonk you may have seen him already Mark's mum bought that from me from Primark and then we go over to the tree I've done you a bit of a glimpse of the tree already from when we put it up but we bought this tree three years ago when we moved in and I absolutely friggin love it we just add to it what well, no okay I add to it every year um, this year these are new um, this one's new you'll have seen all these this one's new as um, I'll have been shopping at different places but some people like you know to add red or burgundy or green or different colors which is fine but I just like it this color the whites and the silvers I love it with my little fairy on top that Poppy hates because she thinks it's evil um, so we come over I've got the stars on either side the very expensive stars from Byford's there's one there and one there and then I did this yesterday so these are what I use in my tablescape for Christmas Day but I thought I'm just gonna have them here on this star remember I bought this these stars from B&M um, so I'm gonna have this here just all the time I've got my Christmas tree scented candle which I'm trying to delay burning because it smells divine and then we've obviously got this over here that you've already seen with my little light up houses we've got the little um, gnomies over here and then we go over to this part which you've probably seen me do this candles burnt out so I need to replace that with another um, so I have a couple of candles to light on here and <laughs> I absolutely love this my little gonks in my sledge that I made I was going to use this for sweets but then I decided to put the gonks in there because they looked really cute. Then we go over to the shelf of dreams. I've not put my lights on yet. This flashing picture we've had for ages, for years and years. But I absolutely friggin' love it. The thing I don't love is the wire. That really bugs me. But unless I wanted battery lights, which then would cost me a fortune in batteries because I have them on literally all day I've got to put up with the wire now these are the pebbles that I've um, designed and I'm going to take you with me later today and we're going to go out and hide them for the school children for when they come out of school so that they can find them and take them um, I was going to put them in the garden I did a poll on Instagram most of you said hide them for people to find so that's what I'm going to do um, but we'll, we'll do that later oh I've just got my little 
we wish you a Merry Christmas tree here. Um, on this mirror, I just have this, tip, sorry that noise in the background is the washing machine, it's towel wash Wednesday. Um, these little lights I just put on there, they are battery lights. But I just fe felt like this mirror needed something as you came in, so that's why I did that. And then over here, ignore the present, that's, I've got to take that for someone. Um, we have this little white lit up tree with Christmas is coming and all, see this has got a bit of colour in it. I thought because it was white, the silver would just like be hidden in it. So Mark and I decided, we did decide together to add some colour. Now this one is from York. Do you remember if you've seen the York videos, I showed you a little sprout that I bought. I couldn't resist him. I thought he was absolutely delightful. And I'm really pleased that I've got this little tree here now because Obviously there's not tons on it and I can add to it every year. We bought these this year as well, these little sweeties. Um, and I bought these little stars. So yeah, I can just add to it each year. But it's lovely having this out here. It's just nice and festive to come out to. Um, we've got my signs up here. Christmas truly is a time of miracles. When else can you actually see a man shopping? Mark's mum made me that. Santa Who, I Love My Daddy. Obviously, that was purchased when the girls were little. Dear Santa, leave presents to take sister. Again, when they were little, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Painful. I've got my little house here um, that I painted, if you remember. And I've got this um, Merry and Bright Reed Diffuser, but it's not the strongest. I'm going to have to the thing and what I do is I keep turning them round so then you get more of a stronger scent but it's not the strongest of smells I really wanted the next one but you know pennies and then this I have had for donkey's years I can't remember when I bought this but it's always always gone on this mirror even in the old house so and I, I just love it it's just a bit of festiveness Right, I'm gonna go out and show you the front door. That's my door reef, which I bought last year and I friggin' love it. It's so colorful and it's pretty. And then down here, we've got these that we I bought him last year and I think I bought him the year before. And then I just bought these little trees from Tesco for three pounds each to put in them. This little guy I bought last year in aid of raising money for the air ambulance. And then this is my doormat, bob, bob, bobbing along. Right, I love that so much. I got this um, reef from Etsy, by the way. It was around £20. Right, and then the last room that's decorated is the bedroom. So um, I'm into layering my bed at the moment. So I've got the Christmas bedding on, which I'll show you a bit closer up. This was from Dunelm. And it was only £18 for a king size, which I thought was a really good deal. It has got grey on the other side, but I wanted the white. Um, my normal cushions, and this is the Christmas throw, but I've still got this throw underneath, then this one, then this one. And I'm into layering at the moment, it just looks so cosy. We've obviously got our advents. Now, during Vlogmas, I will... Um, be doing advents with you most nights and Mark because Mark will be doing his his is this side he's got like a chocolate one um, I've got this one from last year and I just closed all the doors up this do you remember doing that as a kid you used to get them and then you used to close all the doors up and then use them again the following year so <laughs> I've done that and I've got a bueno one and then over here this is a bedroom tree I didn't show you this in the footage from Monday because I only did this yesterday um, I just love it this is the trees are from oh, Christmas it's something like Christmas R Us or Christmas oh something like that it's an online company um, I think this one I bought two years ago and it cost me about 40 pounds which and it's pre-lit 
I won't buy a tree now that's not pre-lit because the lights are too stressful. Um, I already had all the decorations, but I did add to them last year, like these ones. Um, but it can't really cope with too many decorations because it's only a little tree. So, but that's our bedroom tree and I just put this sign up at the back. Um, now, what we're doing today is we're going to be making some placemats for the Christmas table. So I've printed all these sheets of reindeers out. I love that one. And look at him. And um, I'm going to laminate them. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to cut them to the right size I want them because I think even though that's sort of the size of a placemat I kind of want them facing that way so I'm going to have them more as a square um, so we will do that today but first we've got a delivery to open oh I've got to you know my jumper that I wore Christmas calories don't count to York massive rip in the sleeve I had a, I found a little small look I found a small hole and it just went like that <laughs> So I was going to bin it, but then I was like, no, I love this jumper. So I'm going to fix that later while I'm going to watch a Christmas film, I think. I mean, there are going to be times, hang on. Obviously, there's going to be times during Vlogmas when I'm not going to film what I'm doing, like watching a Christmas film is going to be boring. So I'm obviously not going to film that. I'm just going to film the bits that I think you'd be interested in, okay? So some vlogs during Vlogmas might be 20 minutes other vlogs might be 40 minutes you never know me and that's the beauty of it and this hat is falling over my eyes by the way did you notice some haircut I did say in York briefly um, yes I cut my fringe back in <laughs> that's now flattened with the hat um, I just I don't know I just wasn't feeling the no for it the no for it I think I've just got to resign myself to the fact that I need a fringe <laughs> my head's too big the forehead to ha not have a fringe so <coughs> gave up with that and cut it back in as I always do and then I had my hair cut I had quite a lot off actually it was about that much cut off um, and then she put layers in it and I absolutely love it I love it so I'm really happy with the the length um, anyway, let's let's open this package. I think this is from Shein. Right, I'm going to have to put you down a minute. Hang on. I ordered two um, dresses in the Black Friday sale. And I don't think this is both of them. I think it's one of them. So let's have a look. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I might have to put... A little stitch in because that will flop open because my boobs are too big um, but look at the lace I love lace I absolutely love it this was about 11 pounds in the Black Friday sale um, I ordered another one which is green like emerald green but this is beautiful and it's got like a an underskirt because obviously you don't want to see through the lace at the on the actual dress part but yeah I'll probably have to put a stitch in there but I'll try it on first, obviously. But it's like elasticated waist. So, but that is stunning. With a pair of black tights and probably for me it'll be long black boots. Um, I don't think I've got anything, any sort of shoe that would go with it, like heeled shoe. But that is lovely. That is really pretty. Right, this is my laminator. Um, let's just plug it in and heat it up. I, oh, that washing machine, honestly. When is it going to finish? Five, five seconds, five minutes? I don't know. Um, I bought this when I worked at the primary school because I had to make loads of things for this little boy I used to look after. So I thought, well, I might as well have my own and then I can make what I want. And then these are the laminating sheets. So we need to put each one of, if I can find out where to open it, there we go, each one of these placemats that I've printed out. I just think this is a much cheaper way of doing it. Like I've been looking at placemats for ages. I found some Christmas tree ones, silver ones that I loved in Poundland. 
but they were a pound each and I would need 10 and that's 10 pounds so you know I can use these time after time I can also wipe them over perfect if she can get it in the right position laminated now um, so what I need to do now is borrow Holly's ruler <laughs> she's had this since she was at school and draw lines for where I need to cut them and then measure them so that they're all roughly the same same depth you know because you only need a little square to put your plate on don't you, you don't need a whack and great big thing and because I've got 10 people <laughs> I need as much space as I can get at my table. A few moments later. Right, they're all done. So they're all the same size. Um, so they're nice, nice sizes to um, put your plate on and to fit around the table. Um, let me know which one your favourite is. I'm going to show them all to you. There's this one. There's this one. There's this one, there's this one, and there's this one. My favourite is still this one. I just love that design, so I think that's going to be my placement over Christmas. But oh, I'm happy with them. And it really didn't cost me very much because, like I say, I already had the, um, the laminator and the laminate pouches I just had to print them off so a lot cheaper than buying them <laughs> I know that much right I'm gonna have some lunch now it's five past one I'm not eating anything yet that won't surprise you and um, then we can go for our pebble walk and hide them for the school children oh, it's a bit dark isn't it right I'm all ready I'm all bound up and let's go and hide these pebbles oh, I was just talking to um, one of my neighbours and bless him he's putting his his lights up <laughs> he puts um, these blue lights on his bush like that sounds rude as well but it's not out on the outside bush he puts um, blue lights every year and he was just doing that he said oh the wife's got the tree up there blue he said we get a, a reef up on the door that's blue <laughs> must like blue then oh it's sad coming out here without Eve I hate it actually I might hide a pebble by this tree because I love this tree so much it's the conker tree and kids must be coming this way to because the school's literally only over there oh, out of breath already I'm not good with this walking lock Right, let's hide our first pebble. Right, the first one that's come out is this reindeer. So, we could pop it just there. There we go. Right, the school is literally over there. I'm not going to show you, obviously. So, there's a bench here. What one we got now? Believe. So we're going to put that there for someone to find. Right, we're going past the school railings and I'm thinking one of these would be great to hide one in. Like just, would it, if I put it like that, do you reckon they'd find it? Maybe. The next one is definitely going to go on here, like that. Right, I'm going to put another one up here, hang on, which one? Tree? There we go, the tree's going up there. Right, we've got one left, so I've just got to find somewhere to put it for the children to find it. Perfect, just by the play park, which is here. <laughs> Someone's gonna find that. There we go, we're all done. Let's go home and chill out. Right, just received a package. I know exactly what these are. So I'm going to open them and show you. 
Right, okay, so I have ordered um, some new cutlery for Christmas. That might seem very bougie. I'm not bougie. I haven't got loads of money. So I found two cutlery sets. I think they were £16 for a set. And obviously I needed two for the amount of people that um, we've got coming. Oh my goodness. Look how gorgeous. They're dishwasher safe as well. Oh, thank God for that. The tumble dryer's just finished. Let's turn that off. <laughs> um, I wanted gold cutlery because I think it, it looks really expensive and it wasn't. <laughs> Um, like I say, it was literally £16, I think, for a, a 24 piece set and to be dishwasher proof as well. I mean, we can use this all year, but I'd really like to keep it for best. I'd like to have cutlery for best. So like if we have a dinner party, um, Christmas, that sort of thing. So this is absolutely gorgeous. So you get one, two, three, four, five six so you get yeah you get six of each piece so six forks six knives six spoons um, and then six teaspoons um, the teaspoons I shouldn't think we'd need for Christmas but you never know so might be good for like if we've got sauces and things to pop them in that would be a good idea but I am over the moon with this if I can find it, <laughs> I will link it for you in the description just in case you're interested. But I will, sh I'm definitely 100% be showing you my tablescape on Christmas Eve, which you will get Christmas Day. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that one. But yeah, I am over the moon. Like I've said, I've got two boxes of these because we've got 10 people, um, I believe, Christmas Day. So yeah. I am over the moon. I just wanted to show you how gorgeous it looks because I've just taken all the wrappers off. And also, you get this beautiful box. Like, it's magnetic there. So, you can keep this. It does come in silver as well, if you like silver. I just thought gold for Christmas is just, you know, it looks classy, doesn't it? But, yeah, just look at it. Look at it shining. I'm like a magpie. Good morning, happy weird Thursday, but it's also the 1st of December. Pinch and punch for the first day of the month, too late, I've already spoken. Anyway, <laughs> also on weird Thursdays, what do I do? The food shopping. So here it is, in all its glory, ready to be put away. But before that, before that, oh, climb over it. It's Advent calendar time! Now I usually do this in the evening with Mark but because I need to edit this to get it up for you tomorrow I am going to open my number one with you now. Right, so remember this is last year's calendar. Here's number one on the window. It's a pussy cat with a bow tie on. There we go, that's number one. And then let's do this one because I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything yet. So chocolate, first thing in the morning, is always a winner for me. Where's number one? Can you see it? There it is. There it is. Oh, if I can open it. Oh, look how cute that is. It's a Bueno Mini. That's so cute. I'm quite looking forward to number 24 because it looks like you get two full sizes. <laughs> I should be devouring them on Christmas Eve. Right, let's put these back. Mark can do his advent later, but you won't see that because I will have already edited this by then. But I can show you what I get tomorrow. Right, let me have my chocolate while I'm talking to you. So, the plan for today... Oh, let me balance you. The plan for today is to put the shopping away and have a drink. And then I want to put together my hot chocolate station with you. Okay, ready? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. So that's what I want to do. 
Um, and then I fear it's going to take me the rest of the day to try and edit this. Because <laughs> my editing package software still hasn't been sorted out. Not feeling the best today. Last night I was going, I thought I was going into a flare. For those of you that have got fibromyalgia, I don't know if you find the same, but before I go into a flare I feel really weird. Like, I can't explain it, all I can explain is that I feel weird. My, my whole body feels weird. I feel weird. And when I say that to Mark, he knows now that that usually means I'm going into a flare. So, then I get like this tingling sensation all over my body and I think, right. So, I didn't feel well last night, thinking it was a flare, but today, it's come up into like, I woke up with like a wheezy chest. Um, so I, it's probably just a viral thing. Um, and I'm just intending on resting this afternoon because tomorrow, oh, battery's going as well. Tomorrow I'm Christmas shopping at Lakeside with Ange. I've got to finish my Christmas shopping. I've nearly done it all and nearly wrapped it all, but I've got to finish it and I've hired a shop mobility there. So you will definitely be coming with us there. I will take you as round as many shops as I can, show you as much as I can, um, and have fun with Ange. So we've got that to look forward to. Right, okay, so let's build the hot chocolate station. Let's move the chopping boards out of the way. Um, we probably need to give that a little wipe because stuff gets behind the chopping boards, like that. Okay, so this is the basket with all the hot chocolate stuff in. This is the base, so we've got to build it. It's like it's basically a cake stand. Oh, I just dropped that. And you can you can get these anywhere. Um, I have no idea where I got this one from. I think that goes on the bottom like that, like that. So it's got something to stand up on. I've got all these little jars, I've got different bits and pieces, right so this goes on here, just screws on and I don't have my hot chocolate station out all year because one I haven't got room for it because we've got a small kitchen um, and two I don't have hot chocolate all year, I'm just gonna give that a bit of a spray, I'm just using the flash um, spray wipe hinch frosted eucalyptus this is from Mrs Hinch does anyone follow Mrs Hinch on here I'm sure there'll be some people that do she's just like a cleaning um, I don't want to say expert but she started off her Instagram doing like cleaning of her house and it just went mad and now she's like this multi-millionaire who lives really close to us funny enough Right, I don't know what that is. There we go. Right, so now this is built. Oh, what's that? Things splatter on it because it's on the worktop. So, the first thing we've got, I had this made, Lord and Lordette's Hot Chocolate Station. Um, I think it was from Etsy. And I usually just put that on here and balance it on stuff. And I've also got this for the marshmallows. This is a tea bag strainer. Right, let's move the basket out of the way. And move this back a bit. Right, so, oh, I just dropped my tree. I'm dropping everything today. So this is what the jar for the hot chocolate. We've got some in there. Um, we've got to finish up, we've got an options one that I've got to finish up, so I'll just get a spoon, get a spoon, get a spoon, and I'm going to put this in here, oh dear, it's all, the last bit in the hot chocolate thing you can never get properly can you, Let's see if I can tip that, it's all around the edge at the bottom of the tub, Oh, last bit. Waste any. 
Right, that's all right to be washed up. Can we recycle this, hopefully? Jar, site recycled. Lid, recycled. Sleeve, you can't. Right, so we need to take the sleeve off. It's always worth checking, because otherwise, I've heard, I don't know if this is true, but if they receive one thing in a bag that can't be recycled, they get rid of the whole thing. That's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true or not. So I always try and make sure, I'm going to have to cut that with some scissors, I think, that um, I have recycled properly, you know? Right. Take that off. Wash those up in a minute. And recycle them. Right, I've got another hot chocolate light hot chocolate one from Aldi's today because I knew I didn't have much left of the other one so just put this in you know what I could do with is some hot chocolate syrups with some little jars like little jar bottles to put them in so I might look out for those in the I know they sell them in home sense so I don't think I'm going back there before Christmas but you never know. Right, so that's all the hot chocolate done. Let's just clean off the excess. <laughs> so the jars have to go on top because they don't fit underneath. Um, this is, I got this from Flying Tiger. Ah, I think we better get rid of that because that's solidified. Good word, Nicola. Let's chuck that out. I use this. Um, I just put some hot chocolate in here and use it to sprinkle on top of the cream. So that's what this is for. That should be enough. We don't put too much in because as you see, you don't use very much and it solidifies. So there we go. Will that fit under there? Yes, it will. Perfect. So we don't need the hot chocolate anymore. That's done with. And then the next one will be marshmallows. Oh my goodness. These will be rock hard. Are they not? Gosh, how long do marshmallows last for? Because they feel fine. No, oh, this is till next November, so yeah, that's probably why they feel alright. So we put some marshmallows. Actually, I'm not going to use this one because this is more of a everyday one. I'm going to use one of these for marshmallows because I like the way you can see it. So let's try and pour some in she says oh they're going everywhere now <laughs> oh. right so that's for the marshmallows and this is like i say to get the marshmallows out put it that side actually what can we put in this one candy canes but i haven't got any so i need to get some candy canes i'll put it on my list you know like the mini ones you get I'll get them in Poundland tomorrow actually um, so we'll leave that there because I can get candy canes for that um, we're not using that so then we put the Lord and Lordettes sign put that in front and then I've got these little Christmassy bits to put on um, it needs more. It need, I need to add to it. I need to put like some little chocolates on. I want to get some um, like little baubles that you put on the tree and scatter them on. So it's a work in progress. I will show you as as the um, weeks go on what I add to it. So I'm going to put little mini candy canes in here, and then I'll probably add some more decoration down the bottom. And if I find any syrups, I will get that as well. But so far, that's it. I might bring the tree forwards a bit so you can see it a little bit better. Cute! Right, I hope you've enjoyed this first Vlogmas. Um, first of many to come. And I hope this all works out doing three uploads a week. But I will keep you updated as I usually do on Facebook and Instagram. So do go and check them out regularly just to make sure that I haven't put anything on there about what's going on. I have now got my laptop out, ready to edit this. 
and I'm on tender hooks worrying how many times it's going to crash <laughs> but anyway I hope you've enjoyed watching me decorate for Christmas give it a thumbs up leave me a nice comment in the, descri in the description oh god leave me a nice comment and I will see you all again on Sunday for your next upload of Vlogmas take care Bye.